Well, we close this half hour with our look back at the week's top stories. And this morning, sadly, our top story happened just a few hours ago or just hours ago. Another school shooting here now is our Friday Rewind. Our thoughts and prayers are not enough. It's not enough. It does not capture the heartache and grief and anger that we should feel. And it does nothing to prevent this carnage from being inflicted someplace else in America. We are seeing the true intentions of Vladimir Putin, which is to maintain a strong position in Syria. When a dictator slaughters tens of thousands of his own people, that is not just a matter of one nation's internal affairs. The outrageous accusations leveled against Planned Parenthood based on heavily doctored videos are offensive and categorically untrue. Everybody thought Hillary Clinton was unbeatable, right? But we put together a Benghazi special committee, a select committee. What are her numbers today? Her numbers are dropping. When I hear a statement like that, which demonstrates unequivocally that this was always meant to be a partisan political exercise, I feel like it does a grave disservice. She's the worst secretary of state in the history of our country. The day after you take the oath of office, it's yours. you can't level an insult or have a, you're not in an episode of Survivor. You're actually supposed to so, show so. up and run the show. I put my hand out and uh, he rushed and he grabbed it and uh, I, I hugged him and he hugged me and he said, thank you for your courage. big eventful week. Um, that said, the, the mayor of that Oregon town saying late last night that he thinks Friday will be the most difficult day for mm. his community because that's when the names will come out. Tough days and weeks ahead for them. And also the fact that community, they say, is one degree of separation was what one of the pastors said about the area. So thoughts are definitely with the folks in Oregon this morning. And don't miss our updates on Facebook, WNNFans.com.